smart store in the world. Talk to us about the technology that's included into the store. Every product, every logo on the wall, there's a section where there's art on the wall. Every tag on each product is programmed with content. So there's content on the tags right now. And so once you make a purchase, you know, you take the product home. There's an app you download, mm -hmm. the Marathon Store app, and you can put the actual phone to the tag of the clothes mm -hmm. and the content will stream. What that'll do is, let's say I got a song with a big artist, mm -hmm. and instead of giving it to Apple Music or giving it to a streaming site to... You can stream it exclusively in the store. Yeah, I can, I can attach it to a product and say mm -hmm. you can get the... There's a huge amount of value in this cryptocurrency space with trading and exchanging, different forms of currency, different times of acquisition, different times of selling. It's very similar to the stock market. So there's people over the last five, six years that became very successful trading currencies via different platforms. And so what it is is there'll be a big trade that takes place and you'll hear about it next week. And they try to mirror it, but the opportunity came and passed. Very similar to stocks. All right, what up, YouTube? It's the Night Saint here, back with another video. And this video is going to be about the 21 refutable laws of leadership by John C. Maxwell. This is a new series I'm about to do. I'm just going through the laws of intuition and how a specific celebrity or, I guess, or character embodies uh, one of the laws. And this first episode is going to be about Nipsey Hussle. Of course, I'm not about to start on, well, I'm, so I'm starting on chapter eight, which is the law of intuition, but. Of course, uh, I'm going to hop around the whole book and just do it like that. But I hope you all like this video series I'm doing and enjoy it. There's going to be more to come. So, yeah, let me get straight into it. Chapter 8, Law of Intuition. Leaders evaluate everything with a leadership bias. I chose 50 hours for this law because... Many times I catch myself watching a lot of old Nipsey Hussle interviews, and it's been many times where he was just speaking about things that could possibly come in the future. And, and a lot of times he's really ahead of the curve in front of in front of just the whole world, really. Even with the idea, like if you watch the beginning of the video, you've seen that he created the first smart store ever. You know, totally like you know, revolutionary idea of just selling your own product and merchandise. You know. Uh, he also, you know, was one of the first people I ever seen who was speaking about cryptocurrency. But like I said, I'm going to get into that deeper in the video. But that's the reason I chose him for this law. Now, these are some of the characteristics that a leader must have in terms of their intuition. Leaders are readers of their situations. Leaders are readers of trends. Leaders are readers of their resources. Leaders are readers of people. And leaders are readers of themselves. The best leaders tend to read and respond to situations. Nipsey Hussle's leadership qualities were cultivated through his upbringing. Being able to survive, he had to read every situation and person to stay alive. Then when he started to mature, he stepped into his masculinity, his manhood, his morality, and his higher purpose. He had to serve his community and serve his people. Through his hustle and his endeavors and inform people with you know, financial literacy and just his own business mind. Now, Nisha Nussle was starting to speak about cryptocurrency in 2019 and 2018 and partially in 2017, like, you know, before his demise. And crazy thing is about him is that he opened there. He literally opened the first smart store ever in the world. Like, Nisha Hustle, like his character and who he was, is very, he was a very intuitive person. He was very much a visionary with and a revolutionary he's just always trying to move forward and evolve with his own life and he had a good vision of what's to come in the future in my opinion when he's speaking about cryptocurrency back in the day i didn't really peep it until like i said i ain't starting peeping until as of like now and then now i'm like i'm investing in my money into crypto now because in my opinion i believe that's going to be like the next big thing that's rivaling up just regular currencies and uh, regular centralized currencies that's going on in the world but it's sad that, you know, Nipsey Hussle wasn't able to, you know, be alive to see, you know, what could come out of his, you know, his pushing for cryptocurrency or just his knowledge of cryptocurrency and just being around it and investing in it. So, yeah, if y'all like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all later. Thank you.